Welcome to your audio guide with Paloma Faith, giving you the tour of the best sights of London. <laughs> and there's some buildings, <laughs> some cars and that, there's a bit of water Thames. <laughs> My year's been amazing. I had a, an amazing two days last week. What I did was I played to the biggest audience that I've played to ever and a sold out gig in Cardiff in like a small arena. And everyone in the room knew my songs and everyone in the room had their phones in the air with their lights on and everyone in the room jumped when I said jump and everyone in the room danced when I said dance and everyone wanted to touch me when I went into the pit. And it's the first time that I have ever felt truly successful. And the light cascades on the side of the buildings as she delivers the finest inside information of London. And then the next day after that, I opened the BAFTAs and I sang the opening song of the BAFTAs. And then, like, Samuel L. Jackson, George Clooney, Helena Bonham Carter, Marianne Cotillard, Christoph Waltz, Tim Roth, Quentin Tarantino. There were just so many, and they were literally just walking across the room to go, oh, yeah, we think you're amazing. Or do you want to read it out? I've had an amazingly successful year with my album. I I went double platinum on my debut and I'm about to go double platinum on my second album. But I am the type of person who never takes anything for granted. So I'm already now panicking because it's coming to the end of the campaign. So now I'm like, OK, so if my third album, which I haven't even started yet, flops, what am I going to do? I'm thinking of things like the cruise ships. I got my form filled out for Sainsbury's bakery counter. And I am a trained cocktail waitress, so I can always fall back on bar work. So, tune in next week for another episode of Paloma Faith's tour of London City. I just want to quickly double check before... And can you find out where it is? My friend Jeff Lloyd texted me today, he works for Absolute Radio, and he said, um, it just know that if you don't win tonight, it means you're a failure. <laughs> so I've got to go and get ready and put my dress and my jewellery on and get ready to go there now. So thanks for talking to me. I'm a Christmas tree decoration. <laughs> yeah, my favourite Brits moment was probably only recently when two Brits ago, it was the first time Adele had sung any of the new songs from her album, and she sung Someone Like You, and I was there, and the whole room was just, like, astonished because it was the first time that the Brits had ever done anything that stripped back and that kind of humble and vulnerable. And everyone was just, like, everyone's jaws just dropped because it was so special compared to, like, all the dancers and the big cannons and everything. As you know, I'm very into that. But for Adele to do that, it was so pure. It was just amazing. I'm, I'm excited about the red carpet, who I'm going to see on it. Like, I like to muck around on the red carpet, as everyone knows, and jump into other people's interviews and embarrass them. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Bug is on my hit list because he, he always finds what I do really funny, but he doesn't know, like, how to react, so he sort of does this, like... My mum's text, she's saying, you there yet? Nearly there. What colour dress? You need coat for red carpet, it's freezing. Then my aunt, who's my mum's sister, sitting next to your mum and aunt, having a laugh and rooting for you, lots of love. Then my other aunt, my mum's got a lot of sisters. Hope you've got your bloody thermals on, bit nippy. You don't need one of those awards, getting a bit common these days. <laughs> it's really hot now. Should we turn it off now, Paloma? Whatever. Is it not boiling? My, fo my foot's on fire. <laughs> this food is on fire! This food is on fire! <laughs> I've arrived. I'm about to go onto the red carpet. I'm dying for a wee. Um, there are so many anxieties. I'm probably dying of a terminal disease as well.
I'm phased, but I've, if, if I'm really, really <laughs> honest, I've got a bit of anxiety about it. It's not because cute, aren't they? They probably think I'm Rihanna. It's just a bit weird, because I'm exactly the same person as I've always been, and it's like being that, but everyone's watching it. It's a bit being under a microscope. And even though I project an air of confidence, I think all extroverts are closet introverts. I've got to go on the red carpet now and meet those adorable people. Good luck, I'm screaming. Now they can look in the door. Good luck. Um, the Brit Awards mean to me a celebration of British music. We're, we're celebrating real music and real songwriters. So I'm really happy to be part of it. I feel honoured. So how was the day today, getting ready for the Brits? It was amazing, but added stress with all the behind the scenes crew from the Brits that were filming in my house. Thank you, Brits. <laughs>